Elegium Online, we're gonna take a look at an old school MMORPG, Elegium, the chosen one. The features, the history, how they monetize the game, the content, and with that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's do this. Welcome back, Saviors GH here. Let's start with what is Elegium Online? Elegium, the chosen one, was a free to play MMORPG only available on PC. In Elegium Online, players can choose from four races humans, pandas, Elves and Viridis, and five classes, Warriors, Hunters, Druid, Mages, and Fighters. Now the game provided absolute freedom for players to choose the skills they wanted, thereby playing any class they wanted to play. Now players could increase their skill with whatever weapon was chosen, and combat while riding a mount is enabled. Elegium Online also had various PvP modes along with the expected questing and dungeon crawling. Players could raise their own pets and train them to be mighty mounts and explore an enormous world filled with countless instances and powerful boss monsters. While it's no longer available in some regions and may have been shut down in others, Elegium Online provided players with a journey through a vast fantasy world filled with endless adventure. Now if you're asking for an official description from the developers themselves, Unfortunately, Elegium Online is one of those games that's completely abandoned without any mention from the developers even though the developers still exist and is still making games. Now if you ask me, based on the gameplay videos I've watched, it's very obvious that it's a tab target fantasy MMORPG. Now Elegium Online was released in North America in February 15, 2012 as a free to play MMORPG developed by Shanda Games. They're the guys behind the myriad of Legend of Mir MMOs and one of the most played action MMORPG, Dragon Nest. Now the game's publisher in NA is Frogster and they announced on July 17, 2012 that Elegium Online would be shutting down due to the game not meeting their high expectations. This was a disappointment to the player base who had invested time and effort into the game during its open beta period. Despite its closure in North America, Elegium Online remained available in other regions and continued operations for several years. Although the game had a relatively short lifespan in North America, it provided players in other regions with an enjoyable MMORPG experience. I'm saying this because as I'm researching about Elegium Online or what other regions call as Magic World 2, most of the web pages I see are personally owned pages that celebrates their time with the game. But if you googled Elegium Online, which are predominantly information from the NA servers, most comments on posts are negative. Elegium Online is at its peak popularity in June 2012, which is the date they announced that they're shutting down their game due to expectations not being met. Now I know some are gonna ask, is Elegium Online still playable? Yes, on private servers. I can't give you any links to any of these private servers as most of them are detected as viruses. But if you're insistent, Google will be your friend. The last working private server I saw was on Portuguese. Now let's talk about character creation. The beginning when you create a character, you can pick a class which is either warrior, hunter, druid, mages, and fighters. Some servers in other regions call fighters as monks. And then we choose our gender, faction, and Virtue. Virtue in Elegium Online is simply a character trait or buff that makes you slightly better on one aspect in Elegium Online. For a little bit of nostalgia for the people who played Elegium Online, there goes the loading screen. Elegium Online is monetized primarily through the sale of virtual items such as weapons, armors, and mounts. Through an in-game cash shop, players could purchase the game's virtual currency with real money which could then be used to buy items from the shop. Additionally, the game offered premium subscription that provided various benefits such as increased experience and gold buffs, as well as exclusive in-game items and perks. And that's Elegium Online. Thank you for watching this overview of Elegium Online. While the game is no longer available to play, it was once an MMORPG that garnered attention from gamers who were curious to explore its world. Despite its discontinuation, Elegium Online remains a part of gaming history and is remembered fondly by its dedicated player base and some in the gaming community. And guys, do you want to see the top 10 MMORPGs based on Google Trends? There it goes on the screen. Leave a like before you go. And this is Gimme Hardcore. See you in the next one.